Biden says they should be getting the COVID vaccine uh, without ICE targeting them. Meanwhile, many high-risk Americans who need the vaccine don't have the access to the vaccine. He's also planning to make sure undocumented immigrants have food, noting that his $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package increases funding for nutrition assistance for illegals. Your reaction? It's just more of the incentives uh, that the Biden administration is signaling to those folks south of the border, the smugglers, the traffickers, the cartels. Now is the time to send those individuals across the border illegally because they're going to get a number of benefits that you outlined, and they're going to be free from any type of law enforcement action that's going to remove them. So it's very, very concerning. Uh, as I have said repeatedly, they have brought this crisis that we see on the southwest border today. Uh, it is of their own making. We gave them, as we left um, the administration, we gave them the tools, we gave them a playbook, uh, that we had kept uh, the situation on the border under control, uh, and they have decided to take those tools off the table, they have decided to encourage and then facilitate that illegal entry, and it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's concerning, it's not only concerning, I think the American people see this, uh, but it's also very concerning for the DHS law enforcement officers who are on the front lines who are now having to deal with thousands of individuals that have no medical history, have very little identification, you don't know where they came from, and they're having to deal with these folks in a COVID environment. And so we're putting their lives at risk as well. Uh, and I just, uh, again, my heart breaks for them. And, and everybody's heart is breaking for them because now they're, you know, in these facilities, which the Biden administration claims is not the same situation and that was the case for the Trump administration. And during the Trump administration, we had all these headlines that Trump was putting kids in cages. I mean, it's absolutely uh, incredibly, you know, hip hypocritical to hear Jen Psaki, now the uh, spokesperson for President Biden, defend this. Here she was this week talking about one of the biggest stories of the week. Listen to this. I just want to ask you about CPAC. I know you got some questions about this yesterday, if I could try again. Based on our reporting, former President Trump is going to be talking about President Biden's immigration policies. He will point to the uptick in migrants coming to the U.S. How is the administration planning to respond? Well, we're not looking to former President Trump uh, or any of his advisors as a model for how we're approaching immigration. In fact, uh, we're in the circumstance we're in because uh, not only was their approach inhumane, it was ineffective. And so we're going to forge our own path forward. Uh, we'll see what he says, but our focus is certainly not what on President Trump is saying at CPAC. Your, your reaction to that, Chad, she says our own approach, but isn't that approach the same exact buildings uh, where they were kids in cages under Trump, but now they're migrant facilities, according to the Washington Post? Well, absolutely. Those comments by Jim Psaki are not only absurd, they're just dishonest. They're not truthful. Uh, I don't believe she knows what she's talking about. Uh, look, what the situation on the border today is, again, the own making of the Biden administration. They knew the numbers as they were coming into power, as uh, we were making the transition over to DHS officials throughout December and into early January. They knew what the numbers were. They knew what the policies and procedures we had in place to control those numbers. Uh, and what we saw on day one of Inauguration Day is they took all of those tools off the table and they took them away from law, DHS law enforcement personnel. And now we see emails uh, from DHS to ICE, to CDP, asking them to do more. Well, I mean, that is just, again, dishonest to say, uh, you need to do more, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to withhold a bunch of tools uh, that will allow you to do more. Um, and so it's just, it, it's as bad as it can get at the moment. We see about 5,800 children coming across that border. Uh, in January, it's going to be almost double that in February, and we're going to, and they're forecasting about 1,300, or sorry, 13,000, uh, perhaps in the month of May alone. So you're at crisis wow. levels that you have never seen before, uh, and again, but, it's at their own making. But why? Why? Do, do you have any answer to why they're yeah. doing this? Why make so many people vulnerable? Even even offering the the illegal immigrants the the vaccine before regular Americans? Why? Well, again, it's just a different approach that they have. Uh, they prefer not to enforce the law. Uh, we've seen that time and time again. We talked about it in the earlier segment. Uh, they want to make sure that they facilitate this entry of illegal uh, aliens into the country. They want them to stay here in the U.S. as they wait for their immigration proceedings, which we know the facts will tell us that, that they just don't show up for their immigration proceedings. Another population that's increasing are family units. 
uh, in between 2014 and 2020, uh, we had over a million family units, individuals making up families, come into the country. Almost 90% of them are still here. They are still here, uh, either in the shadows or going through proceedings. So what we know and what the facts tell us is they don't leave, even, they, even though they have no legal right to be here. And so I think at the end sure. of the day, one has to assume that's what the Biden administration wants. All right, we will leave it there. Chad, good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. We'll keep spotlighting these important issues for the American people. And Chad Wolf joining us this morning. Coming up, GOP leader Kevin McCarthy on what the Democrats' $1.9 trillion stimulus bill means for the U.S. economy and what he plans to do about Speaker Pelosi's sweeping election reform priorities. H.R. 1, we'll get into it when we come back.